neck rolls, opening the ears toward the sky, lowering the chin, and switching sides. rushing or racing. And you've heard me say many times, I teach this style of crunch because I grew up in an era where we did full sit-ups as part of your uh, gym class, <laughs> the presidential testing. Um, there's no benefit of coming all the way up except for the potential of injuring your back. In addition, I grew up in an era where you had someone hold your feet down, which is actually cheating. It's using more hip flexor and less true core. So, this way, you're protecting your back because your back is pushed into the earth. And you're able to take note of what muscles you're activating as well. You feel the navel engaging, that contraction from the base of the rib cage to the tops of the hips. So the only reminder every once in a while is just to make sure that your pressure is nice and light on the back of the head and that your elbows stay open. Even ensuring that your chin doesn't collapse into your chest each time that you lift. So direct your gaze straight up to that beautiful sky and we're going to do four more. Now as you make your way to that fourth round, I want you to lift and hold it. Make sure you're smiling with your eyes. Still breathing deeply, even though we hold the position, we never want to hold the breath. Hopefully you're starting to feel the muscles heat a little bit more with that isometric contraction. So we're going to make it dynamic again. Give me three rounds. Inhale, release the head and shoulders. Again, back pushing into the earth, neck nice and long, no cheating by pulling on the head. Good, inhale, release. We're gonna lift and lower for two. Exhale, lift to engage. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and hold. Again, it's not about quantity, but quality of your movements. Inhale, release the head and shoulders. Exhale, lift and hold. <laughs> We're not slacking over here. <laughs> Inhale, slowly release. Let's uncross those legs, wrap the arms around the knees. Slow circles, massaging the back. Somebody walk past me on that. 
He's talking to someone on his phone. Oh. I was talking to somebody else. I'm I know. Sorry. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying they're us. working hard over they're here. Hard. I know. Uh, who's he calling oh, a slacker? Maybe somebody on his phone. <laughs> oh, good. And slowly release. I like ribbon people. <laughs> Go ahead and release. We're going to lower just the left foot and cross your right ankle over the left knee. Right arm down to your side, left hand behind the head. And on an exhale, lift and twist to the right. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. Inhale, slowly release. Exhale, lift and twist. And just taking your time as you activate those external obliques. Again, leading with the shoulders. And the external obliques don't fatigue in the same manner as the rectus abdominis and transverse abdominis. But still keep the effort there. Getting three more. Lift and hold that last. legs crossed. We're going to lift them as a unit coming into our pretzel stretch. Holding on underneath that left thigh, using the strength of the arms to pull it. And again, we're aiming for a nice stretch in the glutes, the IT band. Make sure you're still breathing deeply because the more relaxed you are, the more those monkeys will release on their own. Good, and slowly release. We're gonna uncross that right leg, but send your right foot up toward the sky. Maintaining a slight bend in the knee, and we're going to hold on anywhere along the length of that leg. If you have a yoga strap, you can even wrap it around your foot, or you can reach for the bind of your big toe. Providing just enough pressure to activate the stretch response. And remember, stretching should feel like mild tension. It shouldn't be painful. Even though yoga is a gentle fitness modality, there is still room for error and injury, believe it or not. And the most common areas are going to be the shoulders, the lower back, and even the hamstring. So keeping your high reach, we're just going to open that leg out to the side. Another inner thigh stretch, and you can allow that left knee to open out as counterbalance. Good, and return back to center. We're going to lower that right foot and just switch sides, crossing the left ankle over the right knee. 